this is a modern day purity test. You you either declare your pronouns and make yourself a good person or you don't and you're a bad person. And what's happened is that declaring one's pronouns has become a shortcut to the moral high ground. It's a way of demonstrating that you are a morally good person. That's why so many politicians and journalists and other figures have their pronouns in their Twitter biographies or on Instagram. It's a way of showing that you're a you're a decent person. You follow the rituals of wokeness. The problem, of course, in the workplace is that people are being compelled largely to go along with this new religion that they don't necessarily subscribe to. Now, I'm against censorship. I'm against preventing people from saying what they want to say. But I'm also against compelled speech. I'm against forcing people to bend the knee to ideas they don't believe in. For example, that a man can click his fingers and become a woman. People should no more be forced to say that at work than they should be forced to say Jesus is the Messiah or Allah is God. They shouldn't be compelled to say these things.